So I'm here at the Electrify America charging station in Bridgewater, New Jersey, about to do a range test on a 2020 Nissan Leaf Plus, you can see behind me. It's been an eventful top off. I came here with the intention of topping off so I can then head out on the range test. And what happened was the car, I got here at about 70% charged, no problem, plugged into the Chatamo, you know, got almost 50 kilowatts, but uh, it started ramping down pretty soon. Uh, and what happened was when I got to 97% charged, it really slowed down. And after like 40 minutes, it shut off and I was only at 98%. So it took like 40 minutes to go from 97% to 98%. Then the charging station shut off. So I unplugged it, plugged it back in because obviously I want to start out at 100% when I'm doing a range test and uh, it immediately shut off again. So I moved over to the level two station, which you can see over here in front of the car with the intention of topping off here. Okay, plugged in here, 52 minutes later, the station shut off and the car still reads that I'm at 98%. So I'm gonna head out on the range test now. I've been here for two hours and uh, I think 98% is the best I'm gonna get. I'd like to hear from some other Nissan Leaf owners if they experience uh, like a topping off uh, issue like that. I haven't really, this never happened to me before. I've never had a problem where I couldn't charge an electric car to 100% at a public charging station. I use Electrify America all the time for range tests, never had this issue. In any event, we're gonna head out now on the range test with the 2020 Le Nissan Leaf Plus, has a 62 kilowatt hour battery, I think about 56 kilowatt hour usable. We're gonna head over to the New Jersey Turnpike. I'm gonna drive in a loop back and forth, up and down the Turnpike to see exactly how far I can go. There's some DC fast charge options along the route. So once I start getting really down low, I can then guide my route so that I'm kind of close to a charging station when I'm about to run out. I'm not gonna drive until I have to push the car, but I'm definitely gonna drive the car until there, it says zero state of charge. Hopefully I won't be too far from the charging station. We're gonna do this at a constant 70 miles an hour. It's beautiful weather right now. It's 68 to 70 degrees. Temperature's dropping up and down. Perfect range temperature. Little bit of wind coming from the west, uh, about uh, six. I've been monitoring my wind app, somewhere between six and seven miles an hour. Shouldn't be too much of a factor. Um, any event, we're gonna head out now. We're gonna see how far we go. I will check back in when I'm halfway through or when I have 50% state of charge left. See you then. So I'm back. I'm here at the James Cooper Service Plaza in Mount Laurel Township, New Jersey, right off the New Jersey Turnpike. I pulled off so I can do my 50% update. Uh, we passed 50% state of charge rate at uh, 95.5 miles driven uh, with an estimated remaining miles of 110. Now I don't think we're gonna get 110 miles left on the second half of this battery. Uh, we're averaging 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour and if you go off of the usable capacity of the LEAF Plus which is 56 kilowatt hours usable, it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery but those last kilowatt hours you can't access are for battery buffer and longevity. So if you go strictly off the 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour that I'm averaging and the 56 uh, uh, kilowatt hour availability that comes up with about 190 miles. So I think that's probably about what we're going to finish up with. Now, the charging station I plan on finishing up and charging with is 185 miles. So we're gonna be cutting it close, I think, even though the range estimator says we'll make it with miles to spare. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm not really relying on it at this point. Uh, just a little bit of an update, it's gotten hotter. It's about 75 degrees now. It was 70 degrees when we set out. And so I've been using the air conditioning set at 68 degrees pretty much for the whole trip. Wind is hanging in there at about nine to 10 miles an hour coming in from the west. I'm driving north and south, so I'm, I'm getting a side wind the whole time. I think that's probably eaten a couple of miles of, of, of range from us, but we'll see. Uh, I'm guessing we're probably gonna end up somewhere right around 185, 187, uh, but we're gonna drive it down to zero, and I'm gonna check in at uh, the Electrify America station. Hopefully I'll make it, and that'll be my next check-in. See you then. 
So we're back at the Electrify America charging station and we're done. Uh, before I get into how far we went, I want to talk a little bit about what happened earlier on when we were charging up the uh, LEAF. So as I mentioned, I couldn't seem to get it to 100%. The, uh, the DC fast charger kept shutting off at 98%, wouldn't let me get to 100, so I moved over to the level two Electrify America charging station and it charged for another 52 minutes. But the state of charge indicator in the LEAF kept saying 98%, 98%. Even when, it sh when that station shut off, it still said 98%. And that's when I recorded the first video. However, once I got back into the car, turned it on, turned it off, it said 100%. So we did get 100% and we're able to do the range test from 100%. Uh, never really had a car have to get shut off and cycled on and off. The range indicator usually works while the car's charging and goes up, but I don't know if that's something that's indicative of all the Nissan Leafs or if it was just this vehicle or whatever, but we did get the start at 100%. Okay, and uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, I mentioned how it, the, the, the charging slowed down greatly at 97%. We know that that happens with all electric vehicles. As you start to approach 100% charged, the charging rate slows down because the battery has to uh, balance the cells. It can't take too much energy at such a high state of charge. So we know that. Uh, it's just that it seemed like it slowed down more than what many of the other EVs that we've tested slowed down. And then when it took, you know, 40 minutes to go from 97% to 98%, it just seemed it was a little excessive. That's why we mentioned that. Okay, so now, as I said, this is a 2020 Leaf Plus SL. Now I'm saying SL because that mat the trim level matters with the Leafs. There's three versions of the, the Leaf Plus, the S, the SV, and the SL. The SV and the SL both have an EPA range rating of 215 miles per charge. However, the base model, the LEAF Plus S, has a 226 mile range rating. So the less expensive LEAF actually goes 11 miles further than the two more expensive trims. That's because they have more options, so they're heavier and they have bigger tires. The LEAF S Plus has 16 inch tires and the LEAF SV and SL both have 17 inch tires that are also slightly wider, a little bit more rolling resistance, probably a little bit of a better drive and riding experience, but you sacrifice 11 miles of range. That said, with a 215 mile EPA range rating, I was able to squeeze out 185.4 miles in our range test today. Now understand, this was a 70 mile an hour constant range test. So that's not exactly the optimum conditions to go as far as you can. But we do these 70 mile range tests to give c customers an idea of what the vehicle is capable on a long highway drive. Because you're probably gonna be driving somewhere in the range of 70 miles an hour, which is why we stick to that number. We set the cruise control and we set it according to GPS 70 miles an hour, not speedometer 70 miles an hour, because a lot of the speedometers aren't very accurate in production cars, not as accurate as they should be. However, I'm happy to say the Nissan Leaf speedometer was dead on. 70 miles an hour speedometer was 70 miles an hour GPS speedometer. Mentioned earlier, we had some crosswinds of about nine, 10 miles an hour. That probably knocked off a few miles of range. And I did roll in with 1% state of charge. I drove the last two or three miles on 1%. I was hoping to get it down to zero, but I didn't want to keep circling the parking lot. I didn't think that was use useful. Um, so I would say, you know, at 185.4 miles, uh, maybe you could push this to 190 uh, before it just drops on you, but somewhere in that ballpark, 185, 190 miles. Coincidentally, 190 miles would be the what you would expect out of this car with the consumption that I averaged. I averaged 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour consumption over this range test, which isn't really great for an electric car. I really thought the LEAF would do better. For instance, I just did this same course and same range test with a 2020 Mini Cooper SE and I averaged 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Now the Mini's a smaller car, it's a little lighter, but it's not very aerodynamic. It's kind of like a box. Um, I really thought the LEAF was gonna get up around 3.7, maybe even 3.8, but uh, it didn't. It was a little disappointing, 3.4. Now, as I mentioned, the car has a 62 kilowatt hour battery. 
only 56 of those kilowatt hours is usable. So if you multiply the 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour to the 56 mile battery usable, that would come up with 190 miles. So it's right on target with what I've experienced here, what I expect if I were to just drive the car till it just stopped rolling. Uh, so, you know, no big surprises there, but uh, now we know at a constant 70 miles an hour, the Leaf is good for roughly 185 to 190 miles. Now, the driving conditions were great for range today. It was between 70, it got up to 75 mile, uh, degrees. Uh, so I was a little hot in the car, had the AC on the entire time set to 68 degrees. So that that also squeezed a few miles out of the battery. Uh, so I, I, I think we're really safe to say in relatively good weather like it is here, you can expect 180 to 190 miles out of a Nissan Leaf colder weather with the heat going probably a little bit less well definitely a little bit less um, but it's not cold enough for me now to do a range test in the cold weather maybe we'll grab a hold of one of these cars and do it again sometime in the winter because that's also important but uh, in relatively mild temperatures with not a lot of wind using the AC steady 70 miles an hour the new Lisa Nissan Leaf SL or SV plus is good for about 185 to 190 miles.